Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Gold Rush autographed jerseys. It's a multi-sport break. It's a full case, all six boxes are inside here. And it's a random letter break. We're gonna go by the first letter of their first name. First letter, first name. So if there's a Zion that pops out of here, it'll go to, to Z, pretty self-explanatory. There's a, an example of what you could get right here. And we'll go by the checklist right here. So for example, uh, like Pele would still be P, Ronaldinho still R, Cristiano Ronaldo C, so on and so forth. I think, uh, I think, I think it should be pretty clear. Big thanks to this group here for making this happen. Appreciate it. And there are the letters right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and letters five and a one six times. One, two, three, four, five. And once more, yes, once more, sixth and final time. So after six, we got Joel down to Diego. Five and a one, six times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five. And once more, sixth and final time. After six, we got Leg right up there, L-E-G on top and that big combo letter group on the bottom. All right, Joel with the letter L, Barry David E, Greg with G, Nancy with C, Alan with J, Diego with H I, hi, TJ with R, Silvio with M, Mike with F, Barry with D, Justin with T, Eric with B, Ryan with S, Nancy with A, TJ with N and P, no problem, Alan with K, and Diego with Vuixia, Vuiz, Vuiz, V W Y and Z. So let's order these uh, numerically, alphabetically. And there it is. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then, uh, then we'll have the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. So no trade chatter, no deals done. That's all good. Once again, list remains the same. Big thanks to everybody who got into this. Now, if we pull a multi... Uh, a jersey that has multiple autos on it, yes, we will have to do a randomizer on it. So like Eagles quarterback legends. Ron Jaworski, Donovan McNabb, right, among others. Michael Vick, so the first letters of their first names would be it. All right, so there's the case right there. You can see the Gold Rush sticker right over there. There's my knife. So let's pop this open. So you can see sealed case. Randall, right? Randall, a lot of R's. Ron, Randall. All right, first jersey. Uh, no, it w we we wouldn't send it to E. We, we would we would go by the players on there. All right, so I'm actually going to turn off the top camera right there because I don't want to give the the jersey away too quickly. It's a little bit of color there. Let's see, who are you? Oh, okay. I know who you are. It's just a different jersey. All right. Who am I? I am an active player in the NFL, a running back. Was uh, a second round pick. I stand 5'9", 211. Born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, went to St. Joe's Prep in Philly, and went to college in Georgia. 
first team all SEC. And currently in my career, I have 11, a little over 1,100 rushing yards, 4.3 rushing yards per carry, 13 rushing touchdowns, 108 receptions, 809 receiving yards, four receiving touchdowns. Second round running back out of Georgia. I feel like I could still do, I feel like I could still do more. I think he's pretty good. There you go. Tom's got it. DeAndre Swift. And it's in his college colors. So I think all of, most of these are going to be custom jerseys. So I'm going to, yeah, so that means it doesn't have any of the official licensing and everything. You can kind of tell by the, just, just that size tag right there. So I'm going to leave it folded nicely in here. Got the Georgia colors. Pretty nice. Big, bold autograph on the number. I dig that too. So that's Barry David with D for DeAndre. So today is the 24th. This is RL1, random letter break number one. There you go, Barry. On the board. Next up, let's see what we got. Where's the autograph on this? Hmm. All right, hold on. Let's let's look at the checklist. We're going to have to take this. Why am I blanking on this guy's first name? Oh, right. Um, so this is actually not on the checklist, but there's, there's no controversy here in this person's first name. But who am I? I'm a coach. A basketball coach. I've been coach of this university since 2009, and I won the NCAA championship with this college in 2012. I've been named the Naismith College Coach of the Year three times, 96, 2008, and 2015, inducted into the NBA, uh, into the Basketball Hall of Fame, that is, in 2015. Before coaching this team, I guess I was previously the head coach at the University of Massachusetts, coached the Nets for a few seasons, and uh, Memphis for almost a decade before becoming the coach of the team that I'm still currently at right now. I currently rank 17th on the NCAA Division I All-Time Winningest Coach League. Yep, Diego's got it. Yep, Calipari. Calipari, Calipari. John Calipari. Anthony's got it too. Alan's got it as well. So, so the, right here it says Coach Calipari, John Calipari. So it'll go to Jay. That's going to be for Alan Murdoch, who may not like this. But I'm wondering, where's his autograph? They usually write it, draw it on, or draw it, sign it on the number. But where did he? Where did he put his autograph? Oh, over here. Oh, this is the University of Kentucky one. Oh, no. Um, oh, if, I'll bet if I look that number up, I'll get a... Uh, I'll bet I'll get all the names on here, too.
So we have, we have to look up all of these. No, Mike, as I mentioned before, it'll be, it'll be all the names here. It might be. Wait, where's the... Where can I look this up? Yeah, it's University of Kentucky on the checklist, but with the multiplayers, we're going to um, we're going to randomize it by letter. You know what? I'm gonna f oh, could I t I could take a picture of the bark with my phone. I was, gonna, I was just going to look all this stuff up later, but let me give me. That's a good idea, Anthony. Yeah, I definitely jinx myself on this one. All right, so we got it. Thanks, Anthony. Very good call there. So also signed by Damian Collins, Ty Ty Washington, Davion Mintz, Jacob Toppin, uh, Dante Allen, Keon Brooks, CJ Frederick, Callan Grady, Bryce Hopkins, Lance Ware, Severe Wheeler, which were Beckett witnessed on 8-25-2021 in Lexington, Kentucky. So I'm going to set this aside. So this, this is also not a officially licensed jersey, but it's got all the, all the Kentucky trim on there as well. All right, so I'm going to set this aside. We'll do this randomizer at the end of the break. Onwards, next box. All right, good luck. All right, this, one, this one's a much easier one. It's only one person. All right. Um, boy, where where do where do I start with this 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 basketball player? A uh, a former point guard in the NBA, list six three one seventy five, played for one team my entire career, and then a couple years after my retirement, coached this the same team for a couple years as a player. I'm an NBA champion, a fi NBA Finals MVP on a losing team. I think one of the very few times that it's ever happened. 14-time NBA All-Star, an All-Star Game MVP, 10-time All-NBA First Team, a four-time All-NBA uh, All-Defensive First Team, NBA All-Defensive Second Team, a scoring champion, assist leader, part of the 35th, 50th, and 75th. NBA anniversary team, my number retired, an NCAA Final Four most outstanding player, 
two-time consensus first-team All-American, as an executive and eight-time champion, and two-time NBA Executive of the Year. I've got 25,192 total points, 27 points per game, averaging 5.8 rebounds a game and 6.7 assists per game. I think that's even that's pre-three-point line as well. Not Michael Jordan, not Spree, not Terry Porter. Yes, Lonnie and Mike's got it. Jerry West. Tom's got it too. Nice. So we got the JSA card and JSA sticker in here. Spock's out of the way there. And there's his autograph. Nice, and I think this is also, yeah, no, no officially licensed, I guess there would be a logo, man, him. Jerry West would be on, on the back, right there. All right, so that's letter J, Alan Murdoch with the letter J, nice. There you go, Alan. Thanks for getting in. But oh, wait, there's more. Next one. Oh yeah, when did he become the logo man? When did that happen? That's a good question, Mike. Yeah, I don't know when the when he when when he became the logo man. We'll have to do a little more research on that. All right, let's see who we got here. Another round of who am I? Anthony says he became low in 1969. I think he was still still playing. He was still a few years away from being a uh, uh, few years away from uh, retirement. All right, who am I? Current uh, former linebacker in the NFL. Currently 63 years old. Was born in Houston, Texas. I think my playing height and weight six foot two thirty. Went to Worthing High School in Houston, Texas. And then Baylor College, and was a second round pick. Played for one team my entire career, and, uh, and then did some coaching. I was a Super Bowl champion, two time NFL Defensive Player of the Year, a Man of the Year, seven time first team All Pro, 10 time Pro Bowler, part of the 80s All Decade team, part of the PFWA All Rookie team, um, and pro probably has almost 1,500 tackles, 19 sacks, seven interceptions in his career. Probably has one of the best quotes uh, ever. And of course, the heart of the defense. Yep, TJ and Todd's got it. Mike Singletary, I want winners. I want players that want to win. There's the big number 50 right there, Hall of Fame inscription. His autograph right across the top. Singletary on the this also looks like a custom jersey, but you got the Beckett card, Beckett sticker over here as well. Yeah, 
looks like it's got like the numbers on the sleeves, but yeah, no, no official licensing here. It's all good. Still looks nice. Better for framing, I think. You're not covering up any, any logos or anything like that. All right, letter M. That's Silvio with M for Mike. Random letter break number one. Now, two more to go. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Mike and Anthony, who, who looked up this information. Um, I don't think and I don't think it was confirmed that Jerry West was the logo on the Logo Man for a long time. So I don't know if he had to deal with the, to deal with that. You know what I mean? During his playing days, like Jerry West, the other opponent, opposing players being like, "You're the logo man. Who do you think you are?" I want to say that they didn't actually confirm that for a long time. Oh, NBA logo was created in '69 by brand consultant Alan Siegel a year after he designed the MLB logo. There's a little debate on. On um, on who the uh, logo man is, for the MLB. All right, I think this is this person, right? That's his number. Yes. All right. I think it's Killebrew. I think it's Harmon Killebrew as well, Corey, but I've, I've heard some people say otherwise. All right. For this particular person, who am I? Uh, currently 75 years old, a lefty, career 262 average, 2,584 hits, 563 home runs, over a little over 1,700 runs batted in, a 14-time All-Star. I'm a five-time World Series champion, an AL MVP, a two-time World Series MVP, two-time Silver Slugger, four-time AL Home Run Leader, AL RBI Leader, two teams have retired my number, and, par and was a first ballot Hall of Famer in the early 90s with 93.6% of the vote. I'm, I'm pretty good, especially when it mattered most. Oh, TJ got it right away. It's Yankees edition of Reggie Jackson. And that's for you, TJ, letter R. So you got his nice penmanship right here. The JSA sticker and card. Got Jackson running across the back. It also looks like a custom jersey, otherwise it'd be a possibly Har Harmon Killebrew on the back of this jersey, yeah. There you go, TJ, nice. Yankees edition as well, Mr. October, the straw that stirs the drink, he once said, to a bit of controversy. All right, congrats, TJ. Reggie Jackson, yeah, excellent penmanship. According to Wikipedia, he's 75 years old. Born May 18th, 1946. Mr. October. All right. There's Joe P. Go Suns, he says. Next man up, yeah. That's what they got to do. All right, good luck. So we've had, what did we have? Have we had basketball yet? So we had college football. 
football, yeah. basketball, we did have basketball, Jerry West, right? Football, Mike Singletary, baseball, Reggie Jackson. We got all those college players right there. So let's see what we have for the sixth and final box. I think we're going baseball here. All right, who am I? Coming your way. All right, some more trivia here. I am currently 44 years old, a retired baseball player, right-handed batter, um, lifetime 254 average, 434 home runs, and almost 1,300 runs batted in. Played for one, two, three, four, five major league teams my entire career. Spent the last two years in, uh, in Japan. Five-time All-Star, a 10-time Gold Glover, a Silver Slugger Award winner, an NL Hank Aaron Award winner, an MLB Home Run Leader in 2005, was also the MLB RBI Leader and part of this team's Hall of Fame. Who am I? I, there's the, I think I think Chris Jaspi will make a very strong argument that he should be uh, a Hall of Famer. I made my MLB debut in the 1996 season with this team, and in this World Series, I became the youngest player to hit a home run in the postseason, and just the second player ever to homer in my first two World Series at bats. And then the following season, I, I finished fifth in Rookie of the Year. but then went to a team and maybe destroyed his reputation. Is he still, is he eligible for, what's his, what's his Hall of Fame status here? No, I, th I think uh, as of 2022, his first year had 7.3%, next year 7.5%, 2020 19.4%, 2021 33.9%, and 2022 41.4%. Does he get into the Hall of Fame? Fifth ballot, so he gets a few more, I think. Diego, nailed it. Andrew Jones, who also has some great penmanship. Went to my Dodgers for a couple seasons, was just not good. It was just not good at all. Came to camp a little overweight and just never quite, never quite got to what the Dodgers thought he would be. There's the JSA sticker in the card. You can see A. Jones right here, not to be confused with Chipper Jones. And yeah, you can tell by, yeah, not, of, not officially licensed, just has a regular custom tag right there. Diego saying his son will be a top three pick this year. Nice. So letter A will go to Nancy with the letter A. Andrew Jones. So random letter break number one to you, Nancy. Thank you. All right, so now a lot of players on here, so we got to do that randomizer. So once again, we're going by that list right here. So let's go to random.org. Let's get those letters there. So there's John Calipari, there's Damian Collins, Ty Ty Washington, Davion Mintz, 
Jacob Toppin, Deontay Allen, D. You know what, this is gonna look kind of confusing. Let me just write these out. Davion Mintz, Jacob Toppin, uh, Dante Allen, Keon Brooks Jr. Grady, Bryce Hopkins, Lance Ware, Shavir Wheeler. That would be a cruel twist of fate, Mike. So once again, John Calipari, among others. There's John Calipari, among others. Just make sure I got the Damian, Ty Ty, Davian. Jacob, Dante, Keon. CJ, Callan, Bryce, Lance, and Shavir. All right. So, it's only one randomizer we got to do. We're going to roll the dice, and the letter on, or the name on top, will be the winner and will go by the first letter of their first name. So let's randomize that list. Four and a four, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, goes to letter T, thanks to Ty Ty Washington. And that'll be for Justin and the letter T. There you go, Justin. So once again, there's your certification number right there, all the different players right over here. And of course, the main autograph right there and all the other players. This is a really cool, cool idea. I guess if, I don't know if you're a Kentucky fan or not, but if you sell it, I'm sure some Kentucky fan will love this. All right, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. Fold this up nicely when we, when we uh, turn off the video and stop the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazpyscasebreaks.com, and I will see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.